Hey Savvy Premeds, Rob here. Letters of recommendation is the most popular question that we get uh, over here at Passport Admissions, and I wanted to make a video for you about it, but it's so boring. So how do we ramp up the challenge or the intrigue of a video about letters of recommendation uh, while still giving you the information that you need? So I decided to do the 20 best letter of recommendation tips that I have to offer in two minutes or less. I'm gonna talk fast, you're gonna listen fast, and then of course you can listen again if you need to, if you miss anything, sound good? Here goes. Get the best set of letters for you. That supersedes all of the recommendations that I'm about to give. Number two, you're not asking for a huge favor from your letter writer. It's 30 minutes only. Don't make it a bigger deal than it needs to be. Famous letter writers are probably not famous to the admissions committee, so don't sweat the title. Number four, instead get people who know you well rather than people that you think will have some sort of cachet. Number five, all letters of recommendation are positive. The best letters are specific. Again, get people who know you well. Number six, if your school has a committee letter, get it. If your school does not have a committee letter, you need to get two professors of science who've given you a grade and up to three additional letters from a doctor, your PI, a faculty advisor, whoever. Number nine, co-written letters are great, where the teaching assistant writes it and the professor signs it. Med schools love it. They get a specific letter with the professor's title. Number 10, before you ask, you're going to need at least a rough draft of your personal statement. So make sure you know that why you want to be a doctor before you ask for your letters. Number 11, ask in person. Number 12, ask for a strong letter of recommendation because a weak letter doesn't help your chances. Number 13, don't wait until May when the letter writer has a billion other letters to write. You can ask as early as a year or two in advance if you have a service like Interfolio where you can store your letters. Number 15, write personalized handwritten thank you notes to show how mature you are. Number 16, deliver that thank you note before the letter is finished so that the letter writer can incorporate some of that information into their letter. Number 17, don't just give them a personal statement or they will regurgitate it in the letter. Instead, provide specific bullet points of your interactions with that person to make that letter more specific. Number 18, deliver the letter packet right after you ask for it. Number 19, waive your right to see the letters or med schools won't believe it. And number 20, letters are due in early July. They're not due with the primary. Yes, you can submit them with the primary, but you don't have to. I hope that helped. I'm out of breath. Maybe you'll watch this again and, get, and ask me whatever questions you are and I'll include them in a future video. All right, good luck.